50 minutes past the hour, taking a live look outside over the city of Boston. You're waking up to temperatures in the 70s. Mm. And you're seeing the sun trying to peek through the clouds, and you notice that haze in the atmosphere. Barry Burbank yeah. calls it a tropical air mass, right, Barry Burbank? Oh, it definitely is just that. It really is, and it's even going to get more muggy with time. I'll tell you, Anna Ritis, it really is going to be super tropical. We're looking at all kinds of information out there and all kinds of graphics. I've just got this Fenway Park picture up for you to show you. Uh, to get ready with the game this afternoon, now the clouds have rolled in. There's been a little bit of sunshine through the clouds in some spots, but look at the temperature. It's 7.15 in the morning on October 8th. What gives? It's 72 degrees right now. 72. The wind is a little brisk at times, so that's helping to reduce the discomfort a little bit for some folks that find this uh, uncomfortable. Anyway, this afternoon at 2.30, there's a slight chance there could be a shower sometime during the game, but for the most part, most of the showers that are coming will be gone by the time the game starts and will be in the upper 70s near 80, assuming there might be some, a few breaks of sun reappearing later this afternoon once this band of showers here moves on through. It looks like it's a solid band. Some showers are starting to break out into Massachusetts right now, so we've got to be dealing with those uh, as the morning progresses and into the afternoon. So that's why the wet weather is coming. But look at these numbers. 74 in Lawrence. This is crazy. 73 in, in Norwood. 68 in Falmouth. And the dew points get even higher. They're in mid-upper 60s now. But down here, they're in the low 70s from Baltimore down to Richmond. So that tropical air is going to be drawn northward as Nate moves to the northeast. There's Nate down there now. As it comes northward, it's just going to pull this tropical air into our region during tomorrow. And we'll be responsible for some tropical downpours tomorrow. But first things first, the showers which come through today. So here they come this after, uh, later this morning and into the Boston area around late morning to early afternoon. There could be some isolated thunder and lightning. There's some local downpours are possible. This thing is a little more active than we had earlier anticipated yesterday. We thought there would be just scattered showers from this. Now it looks like a solid band and early this afternoon by 2.30. See, the showers mostly should be over southeastern Massachusetts, and they should be out of Fenway Park. But if you're going to go to Fenway earlier, you want to take some rain gear and be prepared because there could be some downpours. A few more scattered showers may happen into the evening hours. This is such a tropical air mass. But for the most part, most of the rain is going to be happening tomorrow morning in the first stage. The first episode, first stage comes through and especially hits northern Massachusetts northward as this first band of rain lifts northward. Then the tropical air comes up in here tomorrow. We'll have dew points in the low 70s at least, probably around 72, 73. Air temperatures will probably go up to the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. And here's the blob of rain associated with Nate coming across much of the region, mainly late afternoon and especially tomorrow evening when it crosses the area with local tropical downpours which will cause flooding in poor drainage locations. It really can come down very, very hard in a short period of time. Then it's out of here. By Tuesday, we'll be starting to clear out and dry out on Tuesday morning. Here's Nate right now, and it's located down, now moving into Alabama. There's last 12 hours of radar imagery showing the circulation and the rain moving northeastward, now um, pouring in Montgomery and other places in Alabama. So winds now have de decreased from the 70 miles per hour that they were at 5 o'clock when this advisory was issued. And that track will bring the storm right up for a beeline to Boston. But of course, we're not going to have tropical storm force winds, but some brisk gusts tomorrow afternoon as the thing approaches out of the south. South, and then it dries out on Tuesday, and it's much cooler on Wednesday, especially the coast, lower 60s. And a cool day on Thursday with some spritzes around, but only 60 on Thursday. But how about that 82 on Tuesday? Going to like that one. Thanks, Barry.